Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm bringing you something new. I was contacted by Knob Cooling and they wanted me to test out one of their products. This is the Knob Cooling Max Pro Thermal Paste that we're going to be looking at today. I'm going to their website and everything seems pretty promising. Um, you know, they're claiming ultimate heat conductivity, non-electrically -electri conductive, non-corrosive, non-bleeding. It's got a NAB applicator that comes included in the little package that you get. Uh, I've gotten the uh, 3.5 gram tube. So, yeah, and the operating temperature here, the range, they got it minus 45 Celsius to plus 100 de 180 degrees Celsius. So, yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Uh, of course, I mean, it will take um, some extreme overclocking to be able to put this really to the test, which I don't do. But uh, nevertheless, for the average Joe, this could be a good product. And that's what we're going to be testing today. So, yeah, this looks, looks good. And they're based out of New York, United States. Alrighty, so yeah oh lord that unibrow all right so here is the thermal paste or the packaging at least uh, a few things here they give it to you straight right away this is um they're saying this is eight watts or 8.5 watts per meter kelvin it's got a density of 3.7 viscosity of 85 100 and that's what this looks like and um, one thing I do have to critique <laughs> it's uh, this here this should be black like this the contrast here between the yellow and the white is kind of it makes it hard to um, read this here and I don't know if that's uh, this is something like it's still like a you know work in progress kind of like a prototype type of deal and this here also I had a hard time and I I don't have bad eyesight I had a hard time reading this here so I think that they should stick with the black and yellow instead of the white and yellow you know if that makes any sense so I think it'll make a more presentable and more professional looking packaging and I'm, I'm thinking that first impressions are important so yeah but let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got inside I've never tried this thermal paste, so I don't even know what this looks like. Man, okay, let's see here. There we go. <clears throat> yep, and it's got a little uh, zip lock there, which is really handy. Um, if you want to put this back into its original package, you can. So, right on. All right, well, here's the... The tube, as you can see. So let's see. Okay, not much to see here. Just 3.5 grams. Um, not uh, not much writing on the tube itself. Again, this might be, um, you know, just a pre-release sample. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it looks good. Okay, so that's it. And it's got this little tip here that you can use to uh, spread the thermal paste and funnily enough you can kind of see there where it says you see that okay right on all right well apparently it's the same company they're affiliates so that would make sense and here you also get a spatula so you can either use a spreader or the spatula all right, cool. So let's go ahead and uh, start uh, the spread test just to see how this looks consistency wise and um, viscosity. All right, so here's the tube again. Let's go ahead and uh, open this up and put a little dot here. Maybe we'll do it up here. Thought it would be enough there, I think. Right on. And 
NTH1, of course. That's a good amount. And we'll do MX4 as well. Why not? Okay, so we'll have MX4 here. This one here. Just so we don't get confused. And we'll set this back up you there. Alright, first thing. We'll go ahead and uh, get the Max Pro thermal paste by MB Cooling or not cooling spread. And I can tell you that this stuff here spreads like butter. Oh, yeah. Yep, I like the way this feels so far. a decent amount there and it sticks pretty well so yeah okay so let me just add a little bit more here because I got some on the spatula as well so so yeah I don't think this will be a problem spreading this thermal paste and now let's uh, go ahead and uh, spread NTH1 now, NTH1 is a little bit easier to spread, I have to say. It just glides a lot smoother. Um, but that's just, so, you know, the spread. So, and this is a lot more viscous, I can tell you that. So, yeah, that would make sense. Okay, that's NTH1. Let's do MX4. And the same goes for MX4. It's um, a, bit e a little bit easier to spread, but again, this is less viscous than um, viscosity is not as how would I say this thick as um, the Envy Max Pro? So, well, yep, yeah, there you have it. That's it. Um, definitely the NB Max Pro is thicker. It is a lot more viscous, I have to say. Uh, for that reason, it was you had to work a little harder to spread that thermal paste, but. Um, yeah, there it is. Um, as far as consistency, you see it's... Okay, that's MX4 there. And the NB Max Pro, top left. NTH1, top right. So yeah. And it does look like it's uh, lighter consistency there, lighter color. Knob cooling NB Max Pro. So yeah, all right, let's, um, yeah, I think we'll try it on the GTX 770 graphics card. Give it another run before I replace it with something else and uh, see how the temperatures look. All right, so we'll start with the NB Max Pro thermal paste. Put a good amount on there. That should be enough, I think. All right, so let's get this spread over the die here. Yep, this spreads pretty well. said not very much effort and 
And I prefer to test uh, thermal pastes directly on dyes because um, this is, especially on GPUs, this is where the heat gets, where things get hotter, in my opinion, versus the over integrated heat sinks. I like, uh, yeah, on the CPU. So, yeah, there you go. Let's get this uh, test started. And also, I just uh, I like to always double check to make sure that there is perfect contact there between the GPU and the heatsink. And there you go. That's it right there. So yeah, that's in good contact. All right. So the way we're going to be doing the test is that I'm going to be using Unigine Valley Benchmark to put stress on the GPU. This is going to be running for 45 minutes on each test, on each thermal paste that is. We'll also be using MSI Afterburner. I will not be overclocking or overvolting anything. The only thing I'm going to be doing here is locking the fan speed to 80% to give us a consistent result. I'm also going to use GPU-Z to uh, monitor our max GPU temperature reached. So we can also, you know, take that under consideration there. So, all right, let's get the test going here. And I will see you guys in 45 minutes or more like a couple of seconds. Well, guys, we reached 45 minutes and um, I am actually very surprised. The maximum temperature reached with um, the knob cooling thermal paste solution was 67 Celsius, which is, yeah, it's surprising um, for being, for me at least, never hearding of this thermal paste uh you know that's probably my fault <laughs> um man what did you guys put in this thing like the mb max pro is actually performing a lot better than mx4 and nth1 um of course you know there are other factors you have to consider as far as uh, the thermal paste itself um, for example, longevity um, and stability. You know, how long is this thing good for um, once you apply it? My understanding is four years before you should reapply the thermal paste. Uh, but four years, that's, that's still pretty good. So uh, not bad at all. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to now just uh, give you some graphs and you guys can decide it for yourselves. All right, guys, there you have it. There's some graph for you. Uh, my understanding is that this thermal paste will be available here in Europe through Amazon. So you can go ahead and just grab it from there. Uh, I'm not being paid to tell you that, by the way. I don't get any kickbacks or anything like that. I'm just doing this for fun um, just to bring it to you guys. It's a good thermal paste. It performed. I don't know what else to tell you. You know, again, like I said, uh, we'll see in time, you know, how well this uh, stays stable and... Um, how reliable it really is but for now I have um, yeah I say thumbs up go for it if you're looking for a good quality thermal paste it looks like this here will do the trick so that's it that's all I have for now guys I hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you did hit thumbs up please uh, subscribe if you didn't like the video for whatever reason you know what to do I will see you guys in the next one you all take care for now bye bye